Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host MDT and today we're going to talk about which design software can be better for you, ExoCAD or 3Shape. In round one, we're going to do a single unit and in round two, we're going to do a five unit bridge. So let's get started. <laughs> Welcome back to our single crown design. Here in the order form, we are assigning the materials and specifications to the crown. Next to CAD, we can assign antagonist and we can assign adjacent T's for cropping right away. All right, so at this point, the order form on both devices is basically done. ExoCAD is already loading the CAD one to import the scans. In 3Shape, I have to do manually scan and port before we start it. So both softwares do basically the same. You have to import the scans. First the preparation scan, then the antagonist. Extra okay, it's a little bit faster. Maybe I was a little bit faster in clicking. I like what ExoCAD does with the margin line. I just click on it and it automatically finds the entire margin. Three shape can have some problems. Here I'm already done with the insertion direction in ExoCAD. I'm not a big fan of how 3Shape solves this problem. But here in ExoCAD, if you had to find the adjacent twos, you would be able to copy it now, and ExoCAD would let you copy it automatically. The crown fit in. I'm rescaling it now in ExoCAD. I'm still in the margin area. So now, now in 3Shape, I have my crown there too. In terms of functionality, how to shape teeth, I like ExoCAD a little bit better because you have the freedom of controlling the shape of the tools. For example, if you hold the shift key, you can scale it. If you hold shift and control, you can morph it in any way you want. In 3Shape, it's sometimes a little bit difficult because you have to find these little dots and you have to position the tooth in the right area and in order to scale it where you want it. It can be difficult sometimes. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to morph the occlusal surface a little bit in ExoCAD. So when I go to adapt and cut intersection for the occlusal, I don't ruin so much of the occlusal surface. I'm going to do the same thing for the contact. In ExoCAD, I'm basically already done. I'm going to do the same thing in 3Shape. My occlusal parameters are at 0.02 millimeters and my Distal contact settings are at zero millimeter. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you want to see more of those videos, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video if you really liked it and if you want to see more of those. If you compare both softwares, there's nothing wrong with it if you fabricate single units. Both do an excellent job. What I like at ExoCAD a little bit better is that the margin function, you tip on it and it defines it right away automatically. It could be problematic sometimes in 3Shape. So guys, thanks for watching the first round ExoCAD versus 3Shape. I would appreciate if you would leave a comment in the comment section if you want to see more of these videos. Next one will be a five-unit bridge and it's going to be more in detail. Stay tuned.